9700. Good morning. How are you guys? We're good. How are I you? psyched you out. They started talking before. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have no, to no, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of, it's like playing double dutch around here. You, just, you <laughs> don't know, know what you're doing. Huh? And you're sharing a microphone too. So, yeah. Well, cool. well, good morning again. Alexander Dimitri and Wes Hayden. So, we had such a good time with you guys at the Grant County Fair this weekend. Thank you for coming by. Yeah, absolutely. We had, we had fun. Yeah, it was fun. You guys played uh, Saturday night, and then we had Branch and Dean and Andy Griggs too. Yeah. It's been a treat. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then we, and then yesterday the Texaco Country Showdown, you guys uh, did a few songs for us too at the end. Yeah, that, that was fun so. to watch. That was congratulations to everyone who was who was in it. It was it was cool. Yeah, I felt like you know maybe we should have been in the talent contest. <laughs> because I was nervous to sing after that. Yeah. Now, did you guys ever do anything like that in your hometowns? You know, any kind of talent contests or no? I actually did. But I was in I was actually in first grade and I did a dance to Billy Jean. You did not. I, I danced to Billie Jean, Please and that, that's that the reason I got into music, because when I saw that, <laughs> that Motown 25 tribute to Barry Gordy and Michael Jackson did Billie Jean, y'all sure. all seen it. Oh, I remember, remember that, yep, yep. I remember watching it as a kid, I was, I was like, too. oh my, that's what I want to do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. My mom said these, old, these, 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 these little ladies were in the crowd, and when I was dancing, I was just going, oh my God, look at him, oh my God. <laughs> that was just a, that's cool, uh, that's cool. Yeah, we must be about the same age because I remember watching that too and I, I was uh, Madonna, you know, for yes, Halloween too absolutely. when I was about first That's my biggest grade. crush. Yep, yep, yep. I, I would dream, dream about her all the time. She's aw and she's still awesome. Yes, I mean, all these years later, but yeah. I still have, you know, like a virgin on vinyl and all oh, that, wow. you know, date myself a little bit. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, so thanks so much for coming to our little part yeah. of this, the country here. We really enjoyed having you guys. And we were talking off air too, you've actually been in a hotel room for more than one night. And yeah, it's, it's been totally, able to actually totally epic. hang out out here in our little area. The beach so. sleeping in the back of the car. I bet. <laughs> Which I have done. I'm sure, yeah, you guys have to do that a lot. You're on the road. Yeah, I actually unpacked some stuff. It was nice. Nice. Well, now don't leave it in the drawer. <laughs> no. See, that's yeah, the I thing. I got it all. I yeah. have two little ones. When we go to hotels, I always have to check the drawers because yeah. in case they stuck stuff in yeah. there <laughs> that she didn't realize. So that's no good. Well, Alexander, let's talk about you a little bit. Because, okay. you know, we've been listening to Sing all weekend, but people didn't really get a chance to do this interview before seeing this thing. Yeah. So just give us a little about where you are born and raised and how your music path led you to Nashville. I always love hearing those stories. Yeah, so. okay. Uh, I was born and raised in Jacksonville, Florida. Nice. And yeah, it's it's North Florida and pretty much Southern Georgia. So I grew up listening to lots of country and a mix of Motown and country. But um, went to school in Chicago and then I knew I wanted to try my hand at being a recording artist. and. Uh, so I graduated in June and moved to Nashville in August and didn't know a soul, but I kind of figured what the hell, you know, I'd try yeah. it and see, you know, who I met and everything. And I've just sort of been fortunate to have met some pretty neat people in Nashville and, uh, I'm getting to do what I've always wanted to do. So I'm, I'm blessed and kind of lucky to, to do it. Yeah. That's cool. Now, where did you go to, you said you went to school in Chicago? Yeah, I actually went to Northwestern. Oh, you went to Northwestern. I did, we yeah. won't hold that against you. <laughs> I know, sorry. You wrong Jolander. Big Ten. No, it's yeah. okay. Hey, at least it was Big Ten. Yeah, you know? that's true. I grew uh -huh. up an SEC fan and then sort of switched leagues. Oh, so. see, yeah, so your family and friends are probably a little bit more yeah. upset that you went to a yeah. Big Ten school. <laughs> Yeah, they also had no idea why I was moving from Florida to Chicago. They're like, yeah. oh, you're going to die, it's so cold. And I'm like, oh, I'll handle it. But yeah, was it, it was no, freezing. That's funny. It was, I was going to say, was it as bad as you thought? Well, yeah, yeah okay. You know, um, I remember Florida. coming home my first Christmas, and my mom got me this down coat that reached my ankles. And I <laughs> looked at her, and I was like, this is terrible. It looks Sweet. like a carpet. I'm not going to wear it. And she goes, just just take it. And if you don't you know, wear it in the week or two, I'll, I'll take it back. So I said, fine, whatever. And got up there in January and pretty much didn't take it off before you. So. It is. You see, yeah, in January and February, everybody here <laughs> yeah. in Wisconsin is going to Florida. Yeah. Exactly. It's the other way. <laughs> yeah, so. So that's cool. So now you're living in Nashville and yeah, living just, the dream. You know, and yeah, singing and cool. um, writing. Nashville has sort of uh, got me on the songwriting uh, road. That's cool. Uh, yeah, I just, I never really written songs. I had written other things, but um you know, when I'm even in Asheville, everyone writes, so it's, that's been sort of a fun process to learn. And I kind of got to be in a legit recording studio for the first time in my life, and I love that part too. But yeah, it's, cool. it's been fun. That's cool. Well, now we also have Wes Hayden here with us. Wes, tell you're from Texas, right? I remember you were talking about that when you were performing this weekend. Yes, so. ma'am, I am. And other than Billy Jean starting you out, <laughs> how, how well? Billy Jean. Okay. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, I'm from originally from Houston, Texas, and I grew up in Huntsville. It's a little town in the, in the Piney Woods, big thicket area of, of Texas, and moved to Austin in '97. 
because I knew I was just going to be this super huge rock star. Oh, a rock star. star. Okay. Country, okay. Country, yeah. okay. We're just rocking wherever we go. Absolutely, you know, yeah. Country folks can rock. We can. But, uh, you know, I played the drums for a long time, so I played okay. for a bunch of different bands, and I was a studio drummer for a while, and um, really kind of got forced into music because I had no choice. That's all I can do. <laughs> and I still don't do that very well. So <laughs> if this doesn't true. work, if this doesn't work out, um, I hope y'all have a position available. <laughs> you have a very nice radio station. voice, Wes. Oh, well, so you have you. a great radio voice. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be fantastic on the air. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so are you living in Nashville? Or are you still? In, you know, I'm, I'm still in living in Texas. Oh, in, te it's, in it's, Texas. It's, you okay. know, they always say uh, you can tell a Texan. Y'all heard that joke, right? You can tell a Texan, but you can't tell him much. So. <laughs> Every time I go places, they can only tolerate me for so long, then they kick me back to Texas. Uh, that's, uh, that's a joke, <laughs> by the way. My second passion is the comedy. Yeah. But, um, uh, you know, I, I, I enjoy going to Nashville because that's where the, the business is. Yeah. I mean, sometimes it's, it's time for me to break away from the business and go home and decompress and, you know, play in, uh, in, in little bars all around Texas and just kind of have fun with my buddies. And, and, um, and then I write a lot down there in Texas as well, so... I uh, love Nashville. It's a great place to go and work, but um, it, you know Texas is home. Yeah, you know that is something. It is with country music is unique in that that there is yeah. a central place yeah. where it people is. go, and sometimes you feel like you have to go there to start. But you know, the country's countrywide. Absolutely. You know, yes, I mean, we love country here too. Yeah. You know, yeah. but it is it is cool though that there is something like that in our genre too. If you yeah. all want to head that way, and like you said, you probably met a lot of fellow songwriters, Alexander, while you were there, and yeah, got into so it's just like this nice, cool community if you want. Yeah, it, it is. Yeah. But you know, it's it's fun. But to it's get not out home for everybody. Yeah, too, yeah, and it's fun to get out on the road and to see what everyone's listening to, and you know, in different mm -hmm. areas, and to see to sort of like try it out live mm -hmm. in different markets because Nashville is, is small and you can't just stay there and you know, no no bubble. yeah so it's kind of nice to get out on the road and you know true. we've had a lot of fun with that and just meet different mm -hmm. people and sing for people and you know ask what are you listening to what do you like you know like where, what are your shows like so I'm, I'm liking that part a lot well cool yeah cool. well why don't we take a quick break here and we'll come back and you guys are going to sing for us, yes. correct? <laughs> All right. Are. Alexander Dimitri and Wes Hayden live in studio here on WGLR. We'll take a break and chat with them at that here on WGLR. <laughs> 